Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. This is module two of grade one. Get your name on here first. And what we're doing now is drawing five group rows and crossing out to solve. And so we have to draw, we have to have that picture. And then we have to also write a two plus addition sentence that helped you add the two parts. So what we're doing is we're taking teen numbers, breaking them into 10 and whatever the one's place digit is. So 13 in this problem is going to be 10, 3. So a 10 and a 3. When you cross out 8 from a 10, you're always going to have 2 left. And that's why we're going to have 2 plus addition sentences. Because we've been practicing subtracting 9. When you subtract 9, you look at the 1's digit and you're going to be adding 1 to it. Because there's going to be 1 left from the 10 when you take 9 away from it. So when you put them back together, this would be 14 if we were subtracting 9. But 8 needs a 2 to get 10. So we're adding 2. That's the mental trick. Minus 9s are really plus 1s if you look at those 1s digits. And then uh, minus 8s are really plus 2s if you look at the 1s digits. And, we'll, and I'll, this first one will be an example of it. Annabelle had 13 goldfish, 8 goldfish, 8 ate fish food. How many goldfish did not eat fish food? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's our 10, right? For, and 13 is 10 and 3, right? 10, 3 is 13. Cross out 8. There's our 2. There's our 3. And so our addition sentence is 2 plus 3 equals 5. There's our 2 plus addition sentence that helps us add these two parts, these two and these three, back together to see how many are left. Five goldfish did not eat fish food. Now we have Sam collected 15 buckets of rainwater. He used eight buckets to water his plants. How many buckets of rainwater does Sam have left? So we need 15, that's 10, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10 and 5, 15. So cross out 8, 2 left. And these 5 from the 10, 5, it's 2 plus 5 equals 7. Sam has 7 buckets of rainwater left. Now just a show one more time what I was talking about before. We really have 15 buckets of rainwater, right? And we're subtracting 8 that he used to water his plants. And we're thinking of this. What we're doing is we're looking at this 5. Whatever you see here in this, this digit for the number that you're taking apart, if you're subtracting 8 from it, you're going to be adding 2 to that part that's left. Just as we did here. There's the 2, there's the 5, and there's the 2 we added to it. There were 19 turtles swimming in the pond. Some turtles climbed up onto the dry rocks, and now there are only 8 turtles swimming. How many turtles are on the dry rocks? So we have 19 turtles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Because 19 is 10, 9. So here's our 10, and here's our 9. Taking 8 away, 2 left, so it's 2 plus. Sorry, that 2 looks like a Z. A lot of times my 2s do look like Zs, but there. And this, of course, is the 9 from the 10, 9. And that's 11. There are 11 turtles on the dry rocks. Now we're going to show making 10 or taking from 10 to solve the number sentences. So we've done some making 10 to do addition, some taking from 10, and I'm going to use number bonds to show this. So it says show. You could draw pictures to do this, but you have to show making 10. I'm going to show how to do it with number bonds. Remember when we added to 8's before? 
If we're adding to 8, we need a 2 to make a 10, right? And 7 is 2 and 5, so we have 10 and 5. And I'm going to write that number sentence here, 10 plus 5 equals 15. I'm just going to write that 10 plus sentence to show that there's my 10 and there's my 5, and that's how I got the 15. And now I'm taking 8. So now when I'm subtracting, I'm breaking up the larger number. Always with subtraction, you have to break up the menu end. I can't break up the number I'm taking away. That doesn't make any sense. I still have to take away both parts. There are tricks for doing that in your head, but we're working on taking apart the menu end into we're going to take away 10 and 5. Now when I take 8 away, I can't take 8 away from the 5 here because it's too small. I have to take 8 away from the 10, and when I do, there'll be 2 left, and now I add the 2 plus the 5, just like we practiced on the first page. That's going to be 7. So 15 minus 8 is 7. And now we're finding the missing number by drawing five group rows. So now they're telling us we have to draw five group rows. So the missing number here, 11 minus 9. So we have 11 and we're going to cross out 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's 11. So there's our five group rows. We cross out the 9 from the 10. We know there's only going to be one left when we cross out 9. So I'm not even going to count how many I crossed out because I know there should be only one left. And there's two left there. Right, there's that 1 plus the 1 from the 11. Now 14 minus 9 is another subtraction 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the 5 group. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. Subtracting 9, I know that's going to take me leave one back and I'm going to have one left not crossed out because that's nine and one make ten so I have this four and that one which is five now we're looking at drawing five group rows to show the story so we have to have that and cross out or use number bonds to solve. So we have to draw the five group rows and uh, cross out. Uh, well, after we've drawn them, we can either cross them out or use number bonds to solve. I'm going to use both. Uh, and then it says write a number sentence. So we need a number sentence too. We need a picture. We need number bonds and we need a number sentence to show how we solve the problem. There were 14 people at home. Ten people were watching a football game. Four people were playing a board game. So, eight people left. How many people stayed? All right, so it doesn't say which of the, from the eight people who left, it doesn't say whether they were the ones watching the football game or the, the board game, or playing a board game. But we know there's 14 people. It doesn't really matter much in this story. Um, what the people were doing, just we know that eight people left and some stayed. And we know right here that there are 14 people. So we got to draw 14 in a five group row. One, two, three, four, five. One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, there's another five group. And then we that's ten. And now we need ten and four. We need four more. One, two, three, four. All right, and now eight people left. Mm -hmm. crossed out and how many people stayed we have these two plus these four and that's six so we know six people stayed at home and so this number sentence right here that's the number sentence that shows how we solved it and now I'm going to show how to do it with number bonds so if we have 14 and eight people leave so we're taking apart the 14, and we'll find out what the other part is. 14 is 10, 4. When we take 8 away from the 10, there's only going to be 2 left. And then we add the 2 and the 4. It's the same thing. We're still going to end up with 2 plus 4 equaling 6. 14 minus 8 equals 6. 
And that's everything you need. We had to cross out or use number bonds to solve. We did both of those. Uh, write a number sentence. We did that. And we drew five group rows. So we did everything we we're supposed to do. We're done. And we finished the answer statement too.